Hello and welcome to Tuesday. It's been an interesting little bit. This is going to be a different video because, well, it's more of a memorial. As of a little bit ago, I am no longer a grandchild. My maternal grandmother passed away and unfortunately that means I don't have any grandparents left. Uh, back in December, we t we were dealing with a funeral then, and that was my dad's sister's husband. And, uh, well, through marriage, they're my cousin's grandfathers. So, a little bit thing there. But this, uh, my cousins, like, out of the cousins that are frequently on here, um, this is our grandmother, right? That's the family that I'm close with. Most of us live here in New York. And we see each other pretty often. We were at a birthday party of theirs um, back in late May. And, uh, you know, we regularly go to events to and from those houses. So they come over here. It's that family. Um, of my mom's family, she has four sisters. She's the middle of five. And my grandmother uh was you know she was relatively young um how how old was she like 77 i think 77 78 relatively young right I, I say that uh but unfortunately ever since march um her health has been rapidly declining uh, we moved her down to Florida back in August for, because she, like, her, um, her daughters didn't want her living alone, and, you know, she stayed with us for a week, and we helped her out as much as we could, but, um, she was having difficulties just living on her own, just getting older, um, a lot of things running the family, diabetes, uh, she had glaucoma, she had vision problems, she had a pacemaker, and, um, you know, it, uh, as of March, she, while well, she had been having, like, mini strokes over the course of several years, uh, as of late, I think it was, like, the day before my birthday or something along those lines, um, she had a rather decent sized stroke. And um, from there, her health just rapidly, rapidly declined. If you remember the past couple days when I was in um, Florida for a very quick uh, d time, um, you'll know that I didn't really mention that uh, what was the what was happening, but I said we might be going back very, very soon. And uh, yeah, it it is very, very soon. Uh, we went to see my grandmother for the last time, and it was different. Everybody knew this was coming, and, um, it was rather unfortunate to just, like, kind of see her in that state, because I've known her my entire life. I have a photo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is me. Um, I, uh, I assume <laughs> when I was very, very young. Uh, well, yeah, of course, when I was, when I was, um, just a baby. And, uh, you know, I, it's weird. Uh, I've, me and my mother have been obviously looking after her and taking care of her for the past couple of years, going to and from her building. Uh, we were there recently doing a bunch of stuff and it had to be last month. I don't remember what day exactly. But we were doing a bunch of work there and trying to upkeep that building. And while, well, you know, again, her health has been in rapid decline since March. And it's unfortunate, but, you know, seeing her for the last time, that's what the purpose of the previous Florida trip was for. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's intense. Uh, she was bedridden and barely spoke, barely ate, barely had any food or anything, could barely speak, and, um, you know, we just, 
went there for a couple days to just say our goodbyes because we knew her time was coming and it just happened to be only a few days later Whew. um yeah it's been weird um like i said we're going to florida so expect some footage for that but it's been a wild time in the family and uh you know tensions were high leading up to her death and uh, there probably still will be post death but hopefully uh things will be you know it will become a bit easier now that she's gone because i know uh she said cons like her daughters have been constantly looking after her calling her talking to her every day and she saw every single one of her grandchildren except for one and every single one of her daughters and sons-in-laws except for one so out of the what there's 10 11 so out of the 21 people 19 she saw within the last couple of weeks of her life and um you know she saw her great she got she was a uh, able to see her uh great great her great grandchild so you know i don't think she was able to see any of us get married but uh, it's it's been a weird kind of couple of weeks months and you know everybody knew this was coming we just didn't know it was we didn't realize how fast it was gonna be after the stroke and you know Life comes at you fast, and this is definitely a bit of a bit of a weird one, and kind of felt like th now is the time to talk about it. So, uh, we'll see how things go, but we gotta get packing. We gotta be prepared for this Florida trip, and you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a time. So that's we're gonna call it for today. I know I didn't speak too much of her, but we might get to that in later days this is just more about hey this is happening right now and well we'll see how it goes with that said that's what i'm gonna call it for today so thank you all for watching i hope to see you tomorrow and until then later